everybody it's me again I just wanted to share a very quick tutorial on how to make these tassels now there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to make all kinds of tassels I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way of doing it um, so all you really need is some kind of yarn or fibers or something to dangle I also have this embroidery floss and I was even thinking you can do this with um, fabrics and laces you could just cut them into thin strips and do the same thing so all you need is that and then a pair of scissors now if you want to embellish it and go you know take it a little further from just a plain tassel then you're going to need something to wrap around like this bling um, mesh that I have here or mesh bling and you can go further and then add something like a bow um, I also added on top of the mesh bling a earring for even more decoration and you can make these any size any thickness you can see that this is pretty chunky compared to this one and in this one I was a little more creative and just grabbed three colors of my yarn and made I love this one and made a tassel so you could also go and use chain using an eye pin eye pin inside um, but the basic tassel which is here this is just the basic tassel it's just yarn and then all I used was scissors and that was it so some people use like a chipboard or a cardstock or some kind of cardboard to wrap the yarn around I just use my hand I actually use my four fingers but you could use less for shorter um, and you can see that this one's even shorter and you see the different type of yarn that I have here this is kind of it's a different color here I use it here um, it's too, it's like a baby yarn it's really neat it's flat but you could use anything really so I'm just gonna do it real quick and I'm just gonna do the basic tassel I'm not gonna add any embellishments but I'll explain how you could put that on there which is really super easy so um, I'm gonna do a single colored one I don't think I've done this one yet this I found these particular ones over at Tuesday morning for only $1.99. You can get them on clearance too. This one here I found at Hobby Lobby for probably the same price. Um, so you don't need to spend a lot. <clears throat> and okay, so let me just go ahead and, and start. And again, all you need is some kind of string of some sort and scissors. Where's my end? And I'm simply going to use my hand to wrap it around as many times as I want. I might make it a chunky one. So I always use my four fingers to do this. And I kind of start with the end of this kind of down here. So hopefully it'll be at the end when I cut. And I'm just going to wrap as many times as I want. And yeah, I kind of pull this finger just to keep it taut. You know, I kind of... Um, pull out my pinky finger just to keep it taut in so that they don't all come off my finger and I'm just gonna wrap 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 as many times as I want and keep pulling this out and I don't care if it's starting to kind of twist up it doesn't matter to me really and again you could use a, a cardboard or something just instead of your fingers now I'm going to take a look and see how thick that is by just pulling out my fingers, leaving in one finger, and see if that's where I want to go. I think I want to go a little chunkier because I actually did like the way this chunky one came out, so I'm just going to add a little more. You could do less. This might be like half of that. So it's all really up to you how you want to do it. Now I'm going to cut that string, but I want to look for that other one that I had here. Just so you can kind of keep it on the bottom. And just cut. Keeping at least one finger in there. And I'm going to pull out another piece and run it through my loop to the top part. And I'm going to pull. And I like to leave a lot on there because I don't know where I'm going to be putting these. So I always leave extra. You know, and I haven't even tied this one yet. This way... I got plenty to work with once I know where it's going to go. So I got that there. And I am going to make 
a double knot one oops and that's going to happen sometimes if you do it too tight let's just take that out i'm still holding this on the inside here so maybe not too tight this is kind of a um thin yarn so <laughs> all right one and two and we're just going to leave that and now, in order to wrap this part around, I want to cut this in the middle. I'm going to use my longer scissors. I should be able to cut all the way. All right. And don't worry if it's not um, if it's not even, because you're going to fix that later. All right. So I'm going to try and just even everything out a little bit before I make my little head there cut another piece because I think these are going to be too short I'm going to lay that down lay this over it and see where that's going to go kind of around there I guess and we're just going to tie that up now if you're just doing like this much and nothing else to it you can wrap you know use a longer um, yarn and wrap it around several times and that will finish it um, because I always cover it up I don't do that much but I can kind of show you how that would look you could just you know keep wrapping you would probably need a longer piece and wrap and then you do your knot and then you would get that that look and then you'd be done but since I always add to it you don't see that so I just do it one time around and make my I don't like where I have that and just make my knots I'm gonna bring this up a little higher okay try this again That's better okay so carefully tighten that without ripping it and then one more time and I always leave these you can cut them off but since I do wrap something around I'll kind of show you that I don't have my glue gun on um, I just leave it in there because I'm gonna cover it and then I'll just going to even everything out so right now what we're gonna do is even all of this mess and you kind of flatten it out a bit and it'll be kind of like cutting hair and just trim and I kind of go around and keep flattening out until I'm happy with the results I think that's good. Okay, so that's the basic part of the tassel. Um, again, if you're going to finish it there, just wrap around the yarn several times so it looks a little better. But I'm not going to glue this down because I don't have my glue gun on. I'm just going to show you. I have all kinds of mesh bling and you could use whatever you feel like using. And because mesh bling, you can cut as many rows as you want. You have the option to do, say, maybe just one row of mesh bling or two rows like this. That's really cute. And here's a gold one, which is really pretty. You know, gold is the thing now. But when you do cut these off, I'm going to show you. I don't know if it's going to... You see the little ends there? Those are the string that holds all the you know, strips together. You want to cut that. You want to trim it so it's a clean, clean look like I have already done on this one here. So here's three strips. Here's two. And that's how three would look, which is cute. And I just use hot glue. I put the hot glue on the end of the strip. 
press it down carefully because the hot glue is going to go through and just keep adding hot glue a little at a time and just wrap it around and then you're going to cut that part and that's the end of that you could leave it like that or you can add as i've done here a pretty bow these are bows that are from the dollar tree they're actually hair clips and i just take off the alligator clip that's on the back and just hot glue that on this is another different bow again from I think these are from the Dollar Tree also. That's a pretty big bow, but it still came out cute. And I just hot glued that. And then here is the other one with the earring in it for a really fancy look. And that's pretty much it. So again, I'm not going to finish this because I don't know where I'm going to use it. I kind of like to coordinate with whatever, you know, it's going to go with. Um, when you are ready, you cut this to the length that you want, and then you simply make a knot, which I'm just going to do for now right here. I'm not going to go all the way, but you get the idea. And you could put this in your planners. You could hang it off your purse. Um, I mean, this is really easy. I mean, it's not chain or anything that will break or anything, so... That is it, my quick little tassel tutorial. And again, there's plenty other tutorials out there. Please look them up. Just um, in the description, there's a little, actually a search box on the top and on YouTube that you can type in whatever you're looking for. I've seen really um, fancy ones, you know, a lot prettier than this. So look them up and check it out. And that's about it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.